We got us a couple old Dodges away from the music. Let's see what we got here. Barracuda, that's for sure. 383 wanted that. With dual quads. You don't see that every day. 1967. Beautiful pearl white. Four speed Hurst. It's got the right number of pedals. Got some Keystone Classics. It's a beautiful looking car. Away from the music. I got lucky on this one. <clears throat> Pearl White, 67 Barracuda. Hurst equipped. I don't know if that's factory or not. It's a beauty though. Got my shadow in there. Just me and my shadow. You know, when I was in college, I was nice looking car. Hello, everybody. Wanted to jump into this video and uh, let you know that there is still more coming up on the 1967 Barracuda. Got some more video footage, and it was nice to actually have live video. Uh, but I wanted to show you this 1964 Dodge Dart, throw this one in here, and I'm pretty sure this is a 64. There was no uh, documentation with the vehicle, and the owner was not around, but I believe that this grill means it's a 64 Dodge Dart. Please jump in if you know otherwise, and uh, this was a pretty cool looking car. It was super original, except for the radio, which I'll go ahead and show you in a second. This car, you could have had a um, 225 Slant 6, or you could have the 273 Super Commando V8, which would later become the 318. Uh, but in this small, lightweight car, the 273 Commando was a lot of fun. And I have a feeling this was a straight six car, despite the dual exhaust that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, because, you know, if you had the 273 Commando, you would probably have your hood up. So let's move on to the interior shot. And you can see it was all original, except for the radio. So this was still a cool car. And I have a few more pictures of it. Before I take you back to the uh, 1967 Barracuda, which was really cool. Uh, a lot of sunshine today, so I got my shadow in this shot, but you could also see that this had dual exhaust with the chrome tips, obviously in addition, and I uh, have a better shot of the wheels because I don't think these were the factory rally wheels in 64. I do believe that this was a upgrade, but also a cool upgrade, but this car was in uh, pearl white, and it was in beautiful condition for a mostly all-original car, and... Here we go with the Cooper Cobra radial GTs. I don't think I would have selected this tire, but I don't think that these rims were original in 1964. You could let me know. So I'm going to take you back uh, to the Barracuda, but I'm going to also ask you if you could give me a thumbs up. I would much appreciate it, and I will include live video whenever it is possible because you know the YouTube rules. We get no families in the pictures and no copyrighted music. So thank you very much for watching this video today and enjoy the last part. Thank you. Back to the 67 Barracuda. This is one sweet ride right here. It's, it's immaculate. I wish you were here to see it. But this is a, uh, I believe it's a 413 with the cross ram air, dual quad. This is not something you, you see every day. And of course, you could eat off of this engine. It's a beauty. Edelbrock carbs. 67 Plymouth Barracuda. We used to love these keystone wheels back in the day. Got some engines in the background, which is perfect for muting the music. Beautiful day at the car show. Southwest Florida. Got us the four speed Hurst shifter.
pearl white paint you gotta love these fuel caps right snap lock on the side they put it on the chargers they used that for a lot of years this is one sweet ride <laughs> 